Hey, greetings fellow nerds. This is my week 12 uh, update of being on Manjaro in my battle against against the fat. Um, it's the eighth week I've been on the 7.5 milligram level of Manjaro and uh, honestly I kind of had a little bit of a of a setback this week. Um, I gained 2.6 pounds for the week. So you know, I've had a lot of losses in a row, and now I had a little bit of a gain. Um, I think it's likely water weight. We'll talk more about that here in a second. But um, unfortunately, it, it is a little small, small gain, and uh, it is what it is. It puts me at 21.2 uh, pounds in the 12 weeks I've been on Manjaro loss. So that's a still still positive about things. Um, still think I'm progressing. I feel good. Um, just for whatever reason, it seems like the the scale tick, ticked up just a just a bit. Um, this week's side effect wise, though, was stellar. I did have a single side effect. I think for about the first time since I've been taking this medication. So um, I injected it in my belly. I drank a protein drink before the shot as well. Um, so I finally feel ready to titrate up to the ten milligrams, and I'm really excited about ten milligrams because. Um, in the study that they, they did, it was the people that were on the 10 milligram and the 15 milligram levels that had the best weight loss. So I think that range. So there's a 12.5 available in between those as well. But, but I'm finally, I think, up to where um, hopefully I'm in that butter zone and I can, I can quit focusing on wanting to titrate up and just kind of focusing on, on let's, let's maximize this every way possible, which I always do try to do. So I went through the battle already, <clears throat> um, just finally won the battle uh, to get a new prescription for the, the 10 milligrams. So uh, first thing I have to, you have to do is you get your doctor to send over the prescription. Um, so I, I need a coupon. So I got my, I got me a new, I'll show you this, I got folded so you can't see my actual numbers, but this is a uh, Eli, Eli Lilly on their website makes a, a coupon available that if your insurance will cover it, it's awesome because then you can get the medication for only $25. So it normally retails for like over a thousand bucks. Um, if your insurance doesn't cover it, unfortunately mine doesn't, um, you still get about half off the cost. So it's really substantial. So I'm paying out of pocket for this. I, I got to have that coupon working. Now the coupon requires what they call an ICD code for it to work. Um, so their ICD codes, so they're on ICD-10 is the is the latest level. Um, a couple of years ago, they were on ICD-9. But basically, whenever you get a diagnosis from your doctor, they give you these, these codes. So for example, diabetes, which is what I have, which is what you need to get the coupon to work, uh, they all start with an E11, E11 dot, um, you know, whatever, and that's, that's your, your diabetes um, ICD code. Now, I ran into problems before because my doctor also sent an obesity code, which is a Z68. And for whatever reason, the pharmacy had issues going and we had to go back and forth a few times so they could finally get that, that uh, code to apply. So this time I made sure my doctor sent it with only the obese or the diabetes code. And uh, I just talked to the pharmacy, had them apply the coupon, and it's all worked. So so tomorrow will be my, my first day on... Uh, 10 milligrams. So, uh, pretty excited about that. Um, you may have seen in the news as well. Um, so Manjaro, um, is, is basically it's, uh, um, so, so with these codes for your insurance on Manjaro, it requires diabetes, right? So, uh, the, the chemical name of Manjaro is terzepatide. Um, Eli Lilly announced they've also received approval for, uh, this drug as a weight loss drug. So it's not no longer going to be only for diabetes. They're going to do it under a different brown, brand called ZetBound. Um, it'll have coupon cards available as well as work the same as, as what it does for Monjaro. So people that don't have diabetes can also now uh, get the awesome uh, weight loss benefits of this. So it's real similar to if, if you know Ozempic, right? So Ozempic, uh, the, you probably heard of, of that maybe. Uh, the chemical name for that is semaglutide, and that is the diabetes version, Ozempic. But they also have a brand called Wagovi, which is for uh, for weight loss, for obesity. 
So it's the same 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 way. So Zempic and Wegovy, they're the exact same medication. They might be different uh, concentrations, different different levels depending on where you get, but it's the exact same medication. And so Manjaro and, and Zepbound it will be the the same on on the uh, this side. So anyway, so kind of interesting. So maybe my insurance will cover it for for uh, weight loss. Um, I, I know some people that. Their insurance would cover Wagovi, but it wouldn't cover Ozempic, that kind of kind of thing. So I'm getting a little sun in my face that there's a window over here that the, the sun's coming through. So I'll kind of kind of slide over here a little little bit maybe. <laughs> anyway, that time of time of the day, you know, daylight savings hit last weekend, and so so now it's like, you know, the end of my work day, um, it's like the sun is setting. So so uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, Okay, so back to my weight gain. So let's, why, why do I think it's water gain? So a few years back, I was on this uh, program. It was a really, actually a really good program. It's very expensive though. And I was training like a Olympic athlete, seriously. It's, it's a local company called Total Health and Fitness. They did a great job. Uh, they'd show you how to do all the, the workouts. They put your workout schedules together. Um, a lot of resistance and uh, weight training stuff, and they'd spell out my diet. Well, one week they had me eat shrimp. Um, it's a lean protein source, um, but it can be high in protein, but and or not protein, but sodium. And maybe that's why, but that week I had a massive gain. Now, these guys would take body composition uh, measurements on me as well, and it pretty much showed that it was uh, uh, pretty much water weight. Anyway, so fast forward to today, my wife loves the endless shrimp at Red Lobster. So it's honestly not my absolute favorite thing, but it, it's okay. So once a year we go and we get our shrimp on. So um, I ate way less than I have in previous years. I was full pretty quick, but the next morning I was up 10 pounds from the day before. 10 pounds. And I did not eat 10 pounds of shrimp. Now, maybe I ate a pound, but no way did I eat 10 pounds of shrimp. So you can totally see that it's just, it's, it's doing that water. And then, then I started another new thing this week, <laughs> as I tend to always be trying things. Um, I got me some of this. So these are creatine gummies. Um, I, I, I found that some people were saying that that's really good for fasting. And it's also, uh, uh, it's it's kind of documented that when you start using creatine that it can cause some water retention when you start taking it. So I started taking it. So that could be playing a factor as well. Um, what it does is it get, kind of helps your muscles get cells get water into them, and then that helps your muscles to to uh, repair and and build better. Um, one you know why why do I want to take this is is be, you know because of that one of the concerns a lot of people have with. Uh, rapid weight loss when they're on GLP ones or when they're doing like the alternate day fasting, and so that's both of what I'm doing is that you lose muscle instead of fat, and so you'll see a lot of people focus their diets on protein. Um, and anyway, this is one of those things that you can do to kind of help protect your muscle and help maybe even build muscle a little bit more. Um, so when you do your resistance training and those kinds of things, this will help your muscles to to build. There's also um, some documented benefits that, are, um, that it helps with your cognitive functions, kind of a nootropic effect. Um, it also helps with your improved gut health and, uh, and so forth. And so um, anyway, the only negative side effect, if you call it negative, is that it causes a increase in muscle mass. So I don't really think that's negative, but the only side effect, I should say, um, which is good because if you think about it, muscle burns more calories than fat. So um, if you replace a pound of fat with a pound of muscle, your your metabolic rate should go up. So um, now you might say, why 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 the gummies? Um, it actually um, your body can utilize it better if it is actually uh, tagged with just a little bit of of uh, glucose. I think it's glucose. Anyhow. Um, so these have, uh, each one of them has uh, one gram of creatine. So on my fasting days, I'm taking two of those. So I get two grams of, of creatine on my fasting days. So, so far I'm just doing it on my fasting days. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll read up on it some more and, and uh, see if, 
if, if I think it'd be worthwhile to, to take just also whenever I do my resistance training, those kinds of things. Um, anyhow, so hopefully next week or so, some of that water weight will, will come off and I don't know, we'll see. But I, I, I definitely don't think I did anything that should have caused me to have a weight gain this last week. I mean, that's the one thing about being on the, on these medications is you don't eat that much. And I did get my two 36 hour fast in, um, you know, fast on the Tuesday and Thursday. And I got my work, I got four workouts in. And so anyway, stupid shrimp, <laughs> but my wife loves it. So, so I, I love to make my wife happy. All right, so I did do one other new thing this week too. Um, so a local seed company called uh, True Leaf has these uh, sprouting kits in there um, that you can buy from them. And so I got one of those. I was, I was one of the, you know, it's kind of getting cold now. So uh, I'm trying to move like my healthy food production. Uh, I like to do my own food because I think that's that's good, you know, keep keep the pesticides off, those kinds of things, and have healthier uh, choices. And and sprouts, they are good for you, but they they go bad pretty fast. So um, making your own is probably is a is a good approach, I think, to do that. Anyway, so I got so here's a couple pictures of of what I've been putting together. Um, it comes with these little trays, these green trays. And so it makes it really easy to do. I mean, I've never done this before and you know, it's, it's just super easy. I, you soak the seeds and then in the morning and the evening you rinse them and they do their thing. And so now I just have to figure out the best way to integrate them into my diet and, and, and eat, eat these things. Um, there's a sandwich place around the corner called Jimmy John's and, uh, I've always liked they have a beach sandwich, which is like a avocado spread and some some turkey, and they used to have and cucumbers and tomatoes, and they used to add um, alfalfa sprouts. And then there was some um, E. coli or something, uh, and so they quit having the sprouts, and they just never got them back. Maybe, maybe now I can add my own, and I'll get me uh, an unwitch they call it, uh, which is a lettuce wrapped version of their sandwich, and throw some sprouts on there. So probably be pretty tasty. Anyway, <laughs> too fun. But so that's a wrap for this week. So I uh, hit a bump in the road. Um, next week, going to be on 10 milligrams. So hopefully uh, we'll, we'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll get some, some side effects again, <laughs> you know, increasing the, the dosage a little bit. Uh, but hopefully over the next few weeks, that'll come down and we'll, we'll hopefully accelerate the weight loss a little bit more. So anyhow, keep fighting the fat guys. Cheers.